Hello and welcome. So in this video, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and look at how to create a custom child theme for Astra, the theme that we're using for our WordPress website, so that whenever you wanted to update Astra, whatever custom changes, whether that be CSS or JavaScript or PHP, whatever you had written to your child theme would be saved and not overwritten when you update your Astra theme. So if that's interesting to you, let's get started. So first we're going to go to our website spellactivity.com and just take a quick look of what it looks like. So this is an example of the current site as it stands. Now, if you wanted to go ahead and look and learn a little bit more about the difference between child themes and parent themes for WordPress, you could go to developer.wordpress.org slash themes slash advanced topics slash child themes. And it will describe just sort of what we were saying earlier that if you want to create modifications or custom code, it, it's best to do so in a child theme. So next, if you go to, if you search for Astra child theme, then if you go to this page, which is the theme generator and you click on that, it's going to help create a custom child theme without having to do any of the coding yourself. So we'd give this a name. In this case, we'll call it And then you can do some advanced options, which I like to do. Um, you can put in a version number. And then you can choose a And then if we go back to our Splativity site and we go to our dashboard, our WP admin, once you're here, you can go to appearance and themes. Once this page loads, you can see that Astra is your active theme. We're gonna to go to add new. And around that same location on the screen, there's gonna be a button which says upload theme, which is we're gonna choose that and then we're going to choose the child theme that we want to use. So we'll go to our download section and we'll go to Astra Child and we'll install now. So you should get a message of whether or not it was successfully installed. And not only do you have to install it, but you have to activate it. So you can click this link here, which says activate. Once it's activated, it should show that theme. So if we then wanted to write some custom code, we could go to customize and you can scroll down and we're just gonna go to the additional CSS section. So that's gonna to apply to the entire thing. And then don't worry if you don't understand this, you just sort of just wanna understand what's happening, not why it's happening. But we could call the body and it's just some basic CSS. And we could say, we want the color of the body to be red. And we'll say that it's important. So we update this site. This is what the site looked like before. And then if we duplicate this window, and we refresh it, you'll notice that now certain elements in the body are red instead of white. So that is allowing us to do the customization in our WordPress site. So now if we go back to Splativity and we go to the WP admin, once the dashboard loads, we can go to themes. And if we were to activate the parent theme rather than the child theme, You notice that Astra rather than Splativity Child is activated. Then if we go back to this page here and we refresh the page, this text should go from red to black. Now, if we wanted to delete the child theme, it would be no different than deleting a regular theme. You would click on the theme details and as long as that theme is not activated, you can then go to delete and that would remove the child theme. So in this video, what we wanted to do is we wanted to look at how to quickly and effectively create a child theme for Astra. We did that by going to WP Astra slash child dash theme dash generator. And then we entered our information and downloaded the file. We then went to our themes. We went to the add new button, click that. 
Once we were at the add new button, we uploaded a theme. We chose the zip file that we wanted to use. We chose the zip file that we wanted to use. We chose Astra child, hit open and then install. Once that was installed, we then activated the theme and we were ready to write our custom code. So if you have any suggestions or comments about this video, how we can make this video better, what we could have explained more clearly, ideas for future videos, go ahead and add them in the comments section below. Otherwise, join us again soon and we'll see you then. Cheers.